Hello everyone and welcome to Factoria. I'm Paul and uh, this is my C block playthrough that uh, I started a couple of days ago. Uh, today we'll play it for the fourth time and record the fourth episode. Um, in the last episode we reworked our base and uh, <coughs> built a better production of uh, uh, iron and copper plates using uh, better crystallizing uh, recipes which allow mineral sludge. So this part of the base should be running just fine. The only thing we are missing is more power. We are basically out of power. Accumulators are unable to charge, to fully charge. This is not ideal. Okay. How much landfill do we have? We have almost 2000 landfill. Let's uh, try and prepare for... Let's try and prepare to build a better power plant. Yeah, this is a C block. Uh, for anyone new to the series, uh, we are playing C block, meaning that we are starting uh, on a tiny island uh, without any ore patches, and uh, the resources are produced uh, from water uh, via different processes. For example, here we have an electrolyzer that uh, uh, electrolyzes uh, the water and gets some slag and some gases. That we essentially avoid the gases and uh, keep the slag and extract different uh, metals from the slag. <coughs> okay, another interesting part is that we are playing with uh, robots from the very beginning, but without uh, the character. So that is done by uh, Brave New World mod and it makes early game a little bit um, slower, or quite a bit slower, <laughs> it depends I guess on how you play it. We also have power overload mode that uh, limits maximum power consumption, maximum power that can be transmitted via power poles, so small electric poles uh, have a limit of 20 megawatts and uh, medium ones have a limit of 100 megawatts. So I would like to upgrade all my power poles to medium ones uh, very very soon but we cannot quite do this um, just yet because we need to research that a medium poles are green science it's actually super expensive right the costs of uh, sciences we also playing with uh, increased uh, research cost settings we are using five times uh, science multiplier and a special setting uh, in a C blood mod pack that makes our science cost more the further in the research tree it is. So using extended, which means that tier two science gets like four times multiplier in addition to the five times research cost. Uh, third tier gets 30 multiplier military. 50 and high sense it's 100 times multiplier. Okay, uh, that's what we've been uh, doing, and at this point, we are waiting for uh, our chests to be full. Well, not exactly to get full, but uh, we are waiting for production of the plates because we'll need to use a lot of them. Uh, let's uh, <coughs> let's actually start by marking exactly how much landfill we are gonna need. This should be enough. And let's place this thing over here. So now robots should be able to build the stuff and 
HPV are gonna be building this power plant. <coughs> I played C block in the past, well, early game of C block several times, so this is the plan that I always uh, use, and uh, uh, I hope you like it once we once we finish constructing it. Okay, how do we do this? Let's so do something along the sides. And we need to build a bunch of boilers and a bunch of steam engines. Let's start doing that. Let's start. Here's the boiler. Please be built. One, two, three. So we have some stuff going here. Mm, it's probably wrong. But it's okay. The next thing we want to do So the problem is that um, Well, it's not exactly the problem, but I need to move all of this to the left by uh, 3 tiles, I think 1, 2, 3 okay, Let's move everything by 3 tiles This construction could be cancelled. It's not like uh, we have it right now. We are missing iron pipes. Let's uh, produce some iron pipes. So we have uh, iron production and copper production in a pretty good uh, spot right now. The only uh, concern I have with this build is the fact that it requires charcoal and we haven't automated charcoal production. This is uh, a bit unfortunate and it's yet another reason why I'd like to have this power plant built uh, relatively soon. So, this is uh, power production. We want to have a couple of uh, couple of uh, power poles here. So now, now we need to <coughs> build five um, algae plants, unless I'm mistaken. I think it's five. Let's make everything symmetrical. Okay, symmetrical. So I will place five farms here. I need to construct those. Let's uh, start. Let's, let's do everything kind of gradually. Right. I am not in a rush. Oh. We don't have uh, technology giving us only green algae. And we really want to use this one. So this will be our next research, and in order for it to actually uh, research stuff, we need to build some ascenders. So let's do this. Okay, uh, there seems to be a tiny problem. I don't have enough space. Let's uh, move this. Let's compact it a little bit. Nice. Let's do it like this. Remove it by two tiles. And we have enough space. 
to build some, um, uh, not to build, to place research labs and to start our research. Um, what should I do? That? Say this. Okay, looks good. Nice. So we have a science production. We have automated science production. And you can slowly research a bunch of stuff. Let's see. How are our. Oh, we're out of stone furnaces. And we need uh, a bit more boilers. Right? We need uh, five boilers in total, and we produced only three. We don't have a lot of stone. So let's uh, produce some stone. No, not produce, let's uh, deliver some stone. And uh, it seems to be working. Awesome. <coughs> oh, and we even have some stone bricks produced by the smelter. That's really nice. So the question is, how many stone furnaces do we need? Hmm. Okay, let's assume this is enough. Now we can get back to boiler production and we need only two more boilers. So this is first boiler and this is second boiler. Nice. We have the boilers, now it's time to build uh, steam engines which are here. Great. What's next? We need 10 steam engines. Do we have enough iron? No, I think we have enough iron in the logistics network. Actually, we could also drop off some copper. Just in case. And we don't have enough uh, pipes. So let's build pipes. And we need. Uh, 5 times 8, I guess 40 or something pipes. Okay, we have 20 pipes and we need 20 more. So, what should we do next? I guess we should have something like this built here. enough pipes. Mm. Doesn't look like it's enough. We will be producing cellulose fiber from green algae and then we'll be building bricks. Mm. I can I guess remind you how it would look like. So we will take algae We'll produce um, fiber from it and bricks. It's almost one to one to one ratio, not quite, but I'll be doing it like this, one to one to one, just to have as much direct insertion as possible, in order not to uh, transport uh, service fiber on the belts. We'll be transporting wood pellets on the belts, which are five times more efficient. And then we'll have one assembling machine producing wood bricks with two furnaces connected to it, right? Uh, we can also do it like this, just so that uh, it looks a bit better. Right, let's get back to the production of steam engines. So. <coughs> we are starting steam engine production. It may take uh, 
half a minute or so. Meanwhile, we can we can remind the spot. So how should I do this? I kinda I would like to do it like this this time. So we have one, two, and uh, here we will rotate them. Three, four. Five. We still have inserters. That's actually a surprise. So we place this, we place this, we place this. We have one third of the build done. <coughs> right. And we don't have enough uh, don't have enough iron gear wheels. So let's produce some of those. Right. What's next? We want to build this thing. It's going to work fine or not quite. And, mm, okay, this would be taken uh, wood bricks or what's the name? Wood pellets from here and placing them on the belt. This will be taken them from this assembly machine and placing them on the belt. They will be delivered to this one, to the assembly machine producing, uh, uh, producing wood bricks, this will be taken directly and this will be placed on a belt along with this. dimensions and I believe we are out of iron right now so we need a bit more iron. We are somewhat short on iron to be honest and I'm not sure why where is the slowness is coming from. Oh I think it's because we are consuming majority of it and converting it into red science. That's okay. That's okay. Let me have awesome new recipe. So now I need to think how to deliver stuff. I, I think I will be providing uh, some of this carbon dioxide from here. Which means that we will need to deliver it over here. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Nice. I really like how it looks. It's awesome.
Let's set tight. Set for the part where we are out of uh, <coughs> the ground pipes. Alright, I'm not. Mm. I mean, to be honest, it's a good idea to have it, but uh, I feel it's a bit early. I feel that we need uh, splitters now. Let's, let's uh, research splitters. So we produced two of those and we ran out of iron. It's okay. It takes 10 iron per dimension and we have five. Uh, is that it? Six. So, so this will be the last one. No, we don't have enough gavels. No, not, not gavels. Yeah, gavels. I'm always confusing the names, so I'm sorry about that. I'll try to use proper words more frequently. <laughs> Okay, we got a couple of gear wheels. It, I'm not convinced it's enough. No, actually, it should be enough. It should be enough because we were like one gear wheel shot or something like this. Okay, let's build the final dimension. And we can concentrate on assemblies. We have steam engine here, we have uh, water coming in, we basically have everything, well, almost, almost everything that we need. I will place smelters here and they will be picking up stuff, let's say from here. Nice. This should. So let's think. <coughs> from from there we should get some charcoal. This is my expectation. Uh, we are out of uh, some stuff. Yes, out of gear wheels. Do we need gear wheels for the algae farm? No, we don't. Let's build it. Uh, we might be missing these things. Iron rods. Iron rods. Where are you? And we are shot on iron. Again. We are always shot on iron. Thirty-eight, and how many iron rods do we need for one algae farm? We need ten. We're missing three farms. That means that we need uh, thirty iron rods. We have enough of them. Let's uh, construct the thing. It's finally constructed. doing something. What is not awesome is that we do not seem to have stone furnaces, which is surprising to be honest, because I thought that we have enough of those. Slightly confused by that, just a tiny bit. Okay, what is our goal now? Don't have basic circuit. Um, do we have food on board? And we don't have food on board. That 
that's a bit unfortunate, but not really a huge deal. So, how are we going to fix this? We will fix this by producing How should I do it? Um, let's automate. Can I, can I automate it? I, I guess in some sense we can. Let's try to automate production of uh, of this basic circuits. Right? First thing we'll need copper. Here we will be building, right? And we need a bunch of uh, assembly machines. That we don't really have because they require circuits. Okay. Okay. Let's do it step by step in this case. Let's produce some um, organic acid from brown algae. We have a lot of it stockpiled, so might as well use it. So, we will not have uh, any other use for it anytime soon. So what I'd like this thing to produce is I'd like it to build even more of whatever it was building in the past. got some of organic acid. Next we want to produce cellulose fiber. We can do it easily. Or not. Oh we don't have power pole. Okay. The power poles are more important because without power poles, we will not really be able to you know, do anything. And we don't have uh, wood bricks. Uh, we don't? Yeah, we don't. I guess you could say that I misplayed a little bit and. Uh, used too many, too much of my resources if I was supposed to do that. Okay, we'll try to recover from this. It should be uh, recoverable. We need to produce two bricks. A slight issue. We have a slight issue. But we should be able to f to solve it. Okay, let's say we are placing to this here.
So this one, we don't need to produce cellulose fiber, and then we'll need to combine it with organic acid. So essentially this part could be our cellulose fiber. I hate to do this, but I feel like I need to remove some of this just to be able to produce more samples. Okay, so this one is our cellulose fiber production assembler. This one will be producing organic acid. And I'm using a buffer just because the ratio with, uh, in which uh, this recipe, like paper production recipe, uses uh, uh, green and brown algae, uh, it's different from the ratio that uh, is being provided here. So, next. Next step is to combine this, right? We want to build cellulose pulp. We can do that. Okay. Let's let's see if we can do that. So we have a bunch of cellulose pulp. Next thing we need to do, we need to convert it to uh, paper. We have insertions, yes, we have enough insertions. It's converted to paper. And now, once we have the paper, we can... No, not quite. Um... Let's see. From the paper we are building a wooden board. And... Thinking how should we? I guess we could do it like this. It's not like we need uh, a lot of uh, let's say we'll just do it like this, and we are placing. Oh. It's completely wrong placement. So we are. Producing wooden board, we are given it here. We are given copper, copper wires here, and this one will produce a bunch of uh, uh, basic circuits. So this. This will be the way. The problem is that we don't have uh, enough inserters. So let's reuse those inserters and assemble machines and everything. Okay, awesome. And now we can uh, we can press Ctrl Z and revert the operation. Let's get some basic circuits in the box. Nice, it's working. Our basic circuit production is working just fine. <coughs> and let's... let's see, is it really working? It is, it's just that 
this crystallizer is getting less uh, mineral sludge than the one above. And the reason it's happening is because we don't have enough slack. Yeah, we, we, I cannot really help with that. Uh, it is what it is. We just uh, have to wait a bit. I think. Okay, we have five of them. Nice. We can actually build some stuff like. Uh, Let's say inserters. We shot on inserters, I remember that, and being shot on inserters is never good. Let's actually, I'd like to reduce this one a little bit uh, so that uh, we can get copper faster, so that we can get uh, these things faster and continue with uh, continue building our awesome power plant. Let's take a break here and we will continue in the next episode. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.